And then open it up for questions for the players and then turn it back over to questions for Coach Dodman. So, Coach, the floor is yours. Uh, I thought we played a really complete game. It started on the mound with Trey. I thought Trey was really good early. Pitched out of some jams, which allowed our offense to to get going. I thought Colby Bortles put together a really good plan for our offense. And uh, we scored in every inning except the uh, bottom of the first. So uh, we put a lot of pressure on them. I thought we played really good defense, made some web gym catches. Carter Cunningham made a really good catch in right field. Hoover made a really good catch in left. Riley Johnson in center field. Um, and I just thought we were you know, relentless offensively and just stuck to our approach and we're really good. Okay, Coach, we'll open up a question for the players. Maybe Andy, did you have a question? Uh, Steve Howard, Mel Jason, Tommy, Trey, what was working for you out there on the mound today? I mean, I just had faith in all the pitches I was throwing today. Uh, four pitch mix. Um, and when I have this guy behind the plate, I have all the confidence in the world. And defense was solid today, so that gave me even more confidence. I didn't think it was tight. Um, I thought there were some pitches that could have gone either way. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was all right. Uh, Zach and Anderson with the six by seven here. So, um, Dustin, can you maybe speak to the offense's approach as a whole, especially against a pitcher who you know, really doesn't walk too many guys? And you guys were able to draw some walks and really you know, get it in. Uh, yeah, for sure. So um, for this guy today, we really just had to see the ball away from us, especially for lefties who were kind of crowding the plate. We were taking those pitches that were starting in and then just handling the fastball away because we knew he liked to expand off the plate. And and then if we got that hanging breaking ball, we could turn on it. But really just selling out the other way and just giving him that inside part of the zone, I think, really helped us. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, even in the later innings, Rass, Rass is at bat with Working into a full count with two strikes, I mean, that's just pirate baseball. Never never really giving up, never being out, and just adding whenever we can add on. Justin, from your perspective behind the plate, I mean, did it feel like Trey was, you know, really had all, all the stuff working today? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think I think even though it's not might not have been his absolute greatest out, I think it's still a huge showing by him and really good job. And he had to get to work today and it was showed off. Sure, um, but to a point you have to control it, and I felt like I controlled it the best I could. Um, but then when your offense is putting up double-digit runs, it also makes you feel real good out there. I just didn't think we chased out the zone. I thought that, like I said, Colby Bortles put together a really good plan for our hitters, and uh, we just made him throw the ball in the zone. And uh, you know, he he gets a lot of outs, in my opinion, watching video where he expands off the off the plate and guys chase. And uh, I thought we didn't do that for most of the time. I mean, a couple times we did, but um, you know, he uh, probably didn't have his best command um, of the year. I would say. I mean, from what I watched on video, he threw some balls off the plate, probably more so than he had. And some of the outings I watched on video. Yeah, I mean, it's one game. You know, our guys played well tonight, which is really what we've done for the past month. I think we've put together some really good baseball on the mound, defensively, offensively. Um, but, uh, you know, get some rest tonight. you got to play a really good UVA team tomorrow. Well, we practice it all the time. So, uh, you know, a guy like Cam Clonch is actually one of our best bunters um, on the team. Probably people don't know that because he doesn't bunt a lot. But, um, you know, he executed a safety sack to perfection. Um, I thought, uh, you know, J-Dub didn't get the bunt down, but then he smokes the ball into left center field. We're able to tag right there. So, j 
just being able to put pressure on the defense in multiple ways is, is big for us. Yeah, it's huge. You know, uh, we didn't necessarily have to go to any of our go-to guys out of the bullpen tonight, which UVA didn't either. So, um, you know, you're going to have two rested bullpens going into a winner's bracket game, which, you know, is good for both teams. Um, yeah, but I ain't telling you yet. I expect a heavyweight boxing match. I mean, you got two heavyweights going at it. Um, I have a ton of respect for UVA because of Coach O'Connor and Coach Mack and all their coaches and all their players. I mean, I coached Geloff and Till this summer with the USA team. Um, I know what they're made of because I know what their coaches make them do. Um, they're really good. So we'll have our hands full, but uh, we're excited about the opportunity to play in a winner's bracket game.